Okay, Nathan, do you want... Really? Now? Well, you haven't told us what book you're doing. Wait. What, that's the book? Yes. I thought that was just your fun book. What, do you never want this car ride to end, or...? I don't know what that means. Odysseus, he's on like this never-ending... No, shh, don't spoil it. Sublady thing, tell them when we were coming back? IDK, but I'm staying at Lily's until this is sorted. Well, we're still rooming together, right? Well, yeah, I should think so. I'll see what I can figure out tomorrow, okay? It's just a really long trip, and I am back. I could write a strongly worded letter. Oh, good. A letter writing scene, that is just what your visitors needed. All right, I will check in with you later, babe. Bye, Anna. There's something wonky going on with our subletters. I think Kara's fixing it or whatever. <clears throat> so how are you reliving the Odyssey then? Oh, um... Well, so far we know that it opens about ten years after the end of the Trojan War, and Odysseus's house is overrun by cads. Cads? Yeah, and everybody thinks that Odysseus is dead. Uh, but he's not, don't worry. <sighs> I was. And he has to escape a goddess who's fallen in love with him. Actually, that's something weird that I haven't bumped into yet. So the gods are constantly interfering in Odysseus's life, which means that he's not really making clear choices. Um, I think if you guys are with me, I'm gonna go a little bendy on the rules on this one. Because you see, the focal point of Homer's essay is really about how Odysseus Whoa. What happened? I don't know. Are you okay? I don't know what the hell's happening. Are you Hold okay? On. Nathan, you don't have to get this, man. I'm pouting and sulking because Odysseus was sulking on the beach in his first scene, so. Calypso has a totally bitching feminist speech, too. Feminist Homer. Kind of. Penelope's held to a totally different standard. Like, she's expected to be a good wife and very dutiful and all of that, so. Poseidon blew us off course. We just have to charm our way out of it, you know, like Odysseus would. Boop. All set. Oh, thank you so much. You are a lifesaver, yeah. really. Yeah. But still, like I said, you guys should uh, find a place to wait out of the rain yeah. and know it doesn't look like it. It's but... coming. I know, I know you said. Do you guys take... Hmm? Oh, nah, forget it. Forget what? It. No, 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 super easy fix. Yeah, no, 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 what? forget it. It's my car. I'll, I, I'll pay you. Uh, no, 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 it's my membership, this guy without his roadside assistance. <laughs> <laughs> no roadside assistance. Oh. All right, take care. No, seriously. Oh, thank I'll... you. All right, cool. Okay. Look, I don't want to be a jerk, but are you flirting with that guy? Uh, no, I mean, yes, but it's just the book. Like, that's what Odysseus would do, and I can't constantly recreate Athena popping into our lives, so. Okay. Well, if this is helping you write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. All right. Well then, let's find a place to wait out this storm that Poseidon is sending us. Nathan, we're setting sail. Wanna jump on ship? 
You stay here? You're very funny with this. All right. What other seafaring analogies do we have?